So last night, there was a provincial by-election in Alberta in the riding of Calgary Greenway. The seat was held by a popular PCMLA named Mamit Bueller, who was killed in a tragic car action. He actually stopped on the highway to help another driver when he was hit by another car. Terrible tragedy. Well, yesterday was the by-election, and the Alberta NDP pulled out all the stops. First, they set up a secret government office in the riding, mimicking an illegal scheme tried by the Ottawa NDP, where they diverted taxpayers' funds meant for constituency offices for sitting politicians, and they took that money and they invested in a campaign office. It was illegal in Ottawa, but they did it in Calgary anyways because they're the NDP, they're scofflaws, they're unethical. Then Rachel Notley called a snap election before the other parties had time to nominate their candidates. I mean, these are unethical people, they're the NDP, but it didn't help them. Last night, the NDP candidate, Rup Rai, came in fourth, fourth, with just 20% of the vote. It's been less than a year since Notley's sweeping election, but the NDP vote in this riding plummeted from 32% down to 20%, even though voters knew their MLA, if she was an NDP, or would go straight into the government and likely straight into cabinet. They didn't care. Only one in five voters could stomach the NDP. Now, the Wadrose candidate, Devinder Tour, had the opposite experience. He got just under 21% last year's election, and that grew a few points to just under 24%. Second place, but not enough to beat the PC candidate, Prab Gill. He got 28%, down from the PC's 43% last time, but enough to win a four-way race. Now, I don't like the fact that Gill won. As our own Sheila Gunn-Reed revealed, Gill is hardly a real conservative. In fact, just a few months ago, he was as giddy as a schoolgirl in his support for Justin Trudeau federally, cheering him on federally with his carbon taxes and other anti-Alberta schemes. Sheila confronted Gill on that, and his excuses were pitiful. But this being a by-election with low turnout and low media profile, this federal Trudeau-loving liberal, provincial PCer, just oozed across the finish line with a 351-vote margin. Now, that's too bad because it'll give the provincial PC party just enough self-confidence to continue splitting away from the dominant Wildrose opposition. And though Gill will surely be a useless MLA backbencher in every way, he tilts the PCs even further to the left than they were before. A Wildrose win, just 352 more votes, would have ended any fantasies the PC held about uh, getting back into power. But let's not quibble. The headline here is clear. Rachel Notley's NDP have disgraced themselves. In less than a year, their party has fallen to fourth place. Now, in rural Alberta, they'd probably run in fifth place if they could even find a candidate. Hey, maybe they'd fly in one from Vancouver or Toronto like they have to do with most of their senior staff. Look, the NDP's days in Alberta are numbered, and the risk of a split vote on the right seems non-existent. The NDP is back to what it was before, a fringe party, before Jim Prentice and Danielle Smith made their disastrous political suicide pact. Our job now is simple, to mitigate the damage Notley and her destroyers do to Alberta over the next three years, especially when it sinks in that this is their final term. So it no longer matters what they do, they'll lose anyways. May as well do everything. Cornered animals are the most vicious. Expect to see a lot more irrational destructive behavior from Rachel Notley and her mercenaries in the three years ahead. For the Rebel.media, I'm Ezra Levant. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more? The Rebel will click here to become a premium member.